As you can see, we're in the snapshot of Minecraft 1.20 and we are playing it with shaders and just with the click of a button, look at this, if I press the button, shaders go away and if I press it again, the shaders come back. And that is incredible because we get to do this in the 1.20 snapshot. I'm going to show you how to get working shaders in the 1.20 snapshot for Minecraft. So make sure you watch this video until the end and let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so step number one for getting shaders for Minecraft 1.20 snapshot is to actually launch the most recent snapshot. To do that, you're gonna go to your launcher and you're gonna click where it says latest snapshot or you probably gonna see something like letters release go ahead and click in there and then find the latest snapshot and then go ahead and click on play and just launch that is probably going to install so as you can see it says waiting on install once the snapshot has loaded you're gonna go ahead and click on quit all we needed to do was launch the snapshot once to create an instance for it the next step to getting shaders on the snapshot is to install fabric fabric is gonna be the mod loader that is going to allow us to install iris and then iris is going to allow us to add shaders to minecraft to the snapshot right so in order to install fabric go ahead and click on the second link in the description which will bring you to a written guide on how to download and install fabric once you're here all you have to do you could read through the guide of course but if you're just following along the video all you have to do is click where it says download fabric loader here that is going to redirect you to the fabric download official website you're going to click where it says download universal jar right here once you click in there the download will start automatically in my case it's asking me where to save the file but for you it's just probably going to download once a file has downloaded, if you're using Chrome, you can find it here on the top right on this little arrow. Go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. Now we have the Fabric installer. Those of you that have installed Fabric in the past, you know that you need a Fabric API when you install Fabric. And that is the next step, actually. We're gonna need to download the Fabric API, which is pretty much a mod that will allow a lot of other mods to be compatible with Fabric. So what we're gonna do is download the Fabric API by clicking the third link in the description, which is going to bring you to our written guide on how to download and install Fabric API. Of course, you can read through the guide and all of that, but if you're just following along, again, just click where it says Fabric API download here. You click in there, that is going to redirect you over here. And then we are going to look for the version that we want. In this case, it's the 1.20 snapshot. We're gonna look for the most recent version. So as you can see, we have game versions in there, but it's kind of too small, so you can't really see it. So what you're going to do to download the most recent snapshot is to click where it says all game versions, click on 1.20 snapshot, and then the one on the top is usually the most recent one. You could also see the date. And as you can see, this one was just released. And if we do click on it, go ahead and click on here where it says 1.20 snapshot, we'll see that this one is compatible with the second, third, and fourth pre-release. Right now, I think they're on the third or the fourth. So this one will work as of now. However, in the future, I do recommend that you check. And also in the future, you probably will have already Minecraft 1.20 out, and you will also have videos on the channel on how to add shaders to 1.20. So this is just for the snapshots as of now anyways once you found the file just go ahead and click on those little three dots that appear on the right and then click download file that is going to redirect you over here where in five seconds the download will start automatically you don't have to click anything after that the download will start and as you can see in my case it's asking me where to save the file but for you it's just probably going to download go ahead and click on save if you have this option enabled if not that's fine the file would just download by itself go ahead and drag and drop that api file into the desktop again if you're using chrome you can find it here on the little arrow go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop so we have now downloaded the fabric installer and we have downloaded the fabric api what is the next step well the next step is to download iris for the snapshot of 1.20. Here's the thing though, this snapshot for Iris is not available on the download website for Iris. So we actually have to do an extra step to be able to download the snapshot. And that extra step is going to be joining the Discord of Iris in order to download the snapshot. But I'm gonna show you how to do that in a moment. All you have to do is click on the fourth link in the description, which will bring you to a written guide on how to download and install Iris. Now, don't read through this guide right now. All you have to do is click on this link that says download Iris here. That is going to redirect you to the Iris official website and do not click download, okay? Don't click download, just scroll all the way down, all the way down until you see the social area. So you can see we have the social tab right here. We're going to click Discord. As you can see, they have a little Discord link. Go ahead and click on that. That is going to launch this little window in here and that is going to invite you to the Discord server of Iris. We're going to accept the invite. Of course, if you have Discord, that is going to open Discord app. Just go ahead and click where it says Discord. And as you can see, once you are presented with Discord, this is what you will see in the Iris server. And this is very important that you select the beta testing area. So go ahead and click where it says beta testing and then click next and then just click finish and all of that. And that is going to allow you access to a beta testing area. So now once you're inside the Iris Discord, you're going to scroll down here on the left side until you see the public test builds. As you can see in the development, we should be able to see that because we are now beta testers. So that's very important that you select that at the beginning. And in there, you're going to scroll down until you see Iris MC 1.20 pre-release 
and solium fabric uh, pre-release and even though this one say pre-release one this will work with the new pre-releases so what we're going to do is click download on the little corner right here next to the files click download for the first one just continue to download and let that file download it should start automatically after you click continue and then go back to discord and download sodium fabric which is going to allow us to run the shaders without the game crashing so click download for that as well click continue to download and that's going to download automatically as well once we have both of those files, we could close out from Discord. And of course, you could always go back to Discord and go through the Iris Discord in case you have any questions about Iris. But once we have those two files, we're gonna drop them into the desktop using Chrome, just like we did before. Go ahead and drag and drop those files into the desktop, okay? Don't worry if you're getting confused with all these files because I'm gonna show you what to do with all of them in a second and it's quite easy, okay? So the last file that we're going to download is the actual shaders, right? We downloaded the mod loader, we downloaded the library for the mod loader, we downloaded the shader loader, and now we're going to download the shaders. So all we have to do to download shaders is clicking on the fifth link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install complementary shaders. Now, of course, you could download any shaders that you want, but if you want the shaders that I'm using on this video and the ones that I use for the thumbnail, then this is it. This is complementary reimagine. All you have to do is click on the fifth link, scroll down, you can read through the guide, but if not, just go ahead and click where it says download, this little download button. Make sure it's the one I'm clicking, okay? Click in there, that is going to redirect you to complementary reimagine. In here, we're going to scroll down and we're just going to download the most recent version. And I know that the most recent version is 1.19.4, but don't worry because 1.19.4 is completely compatible with the 1.20 snapshot, I tried it myself. So go ahead and click on these little three dots and click download file. That is going to redirect you over here, where in five seconds the download will start automatically. As you can see, the file has downloaded for me, it's asking me where to save, but for you, it's just probably going to download automatically. Go ahead and drag and drop that file into the desktop. And now we have the shaders, complementary reimagining in this case, and we have all the files that we need to actually start installing the shaders. So make sure you pay attention to the next part because it's very important that you follow along. Go ahead and click the fabric installer. That is the first file we downloaded. Go ahead and double click on that. And that is going to open this little menu in here. As you can see, it says Minecraft version 1.19.4. And if we click on it, there is no snapshot. There's no 1.20. So all we have to do is click where it says show snapshots here on the right. And that is going to show you the most recent snapshot, which is 1.20 pre-release 4. We're going to go ahead and select that one, which is the newest one at the moment, and we're going to click install. Now, while Fabric is installing, it's very important that I let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you are looking for a Minecraft server where you could play with your friends, you could have Fabric or any other mods that you want, like we're doing on this video, and actually they will do that for you. You don't have to go through the struggle. Then Apex Hosting is here for you. You could do a Java server, a Bedrock server that is open 24 seven. And the amazing thing is that for those of you that use the first link in the description, Apex Hosting is offering 25% off your first server. So I'm gonna leave that link in the description. Make sure to take advantage of that 25% offer to create a server with Apex Hosting so you can play with your friends. And now let's get back to the tutorial. Once Fabric has installed, go ahead and click on OK. And then go ahead and close from the installer and you could even delete the installer file. Now what we're going to do is launch our Minecraft launcher. And if you have followed correctly up to this point, you will see that when you open your Minecraft launcher, which open on my second screen in this case, you will see that when you open your Minecraft launcher, you should have the Fabric 1.20 pre-release 4 selected automatically in the launcher. As you can see, we have Fabric Loader 1.20 pre-release 4 selected automatically after we installed it. All we have to do next is go to where it says installations right here on the top and then make sure that we find the Fabric Loader 1.20 pre-release 4. Hover over that and click on this little folder. That is going to open a folder with a lot of files, but don't get confused. I'm going to show you what to do. Once you're inside this folder, you're going to look for another folder called mods, M-O-D-S. OK, so that folder is right here in this case. But if that folder doesn't show up for you, let's say that I, I want to delete mine and the mods folder doesn't show up for you. Don't worry. All you have to do is create a new folder and name it mods. So click right, uh, click right, click, click new folder and name that mods, M-O-D-S. Go ahead and open that folder. And in here, you're going to drag and drop all the files that we downloaded earlier except the shaders, right? So every single file, every single Java file, these little files are called jar, jar files, which is Java. We're gonna drag and drop those files in there and we're gonna leave the shaders out. Now go ahead and close this folder. Go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher again and launch your Fabric Loader 1.20. Go ahead and click on play, click that you understand the risk and click on play again. So now we have Minecraft 1.20 pre-release down here. You could see it with Fabric. And what we're going to do is launch a world just to test out it's a normal world. I'm gonna launch this one that says four tutorials. And as you can see, I already have shaders. That's because I was making the thumbnail for this video, but I'm gonna show you how to get the shaders, right? So let me go ahead and take mine off. As you can see, I went ahead and took my shaders off. I'm actually gonna make this a little bit bigger. So this is what you should have, right? Once you open your world, this is what you will see. Just normal Minecraft, no shaders. How do you add shaders? Easy, just press escape, click on options, click where it says video settings, 
and then where it says shader packs on the top, go ahead and click in there and you will see that you now are presented with the shader packs screen. Go ahead and click where it says open shader pack folder. That is going to open this folder in here, which for you might be completely empty. That is fine. And all you have to do is drag and drop this little file that we downloaded into this folder. Go ahead and drag and drop that shaders file into this folder, which in this case is complementary imagine. Close that folder, go back to your game and you should see complementary reimagine appear in there. Go ahead and select it and apply it. Make sure that you have shaders enabled on the top. As you can see, if shaders are not enabled, if they're disabled, it won't let you select it and apply it. So just make sure you enable the shaders, select it, apply it, click done. Go back to the game and there you go. Now you have shaders in Minecraft. As you can see, these shaders are one of the most beautiful ones on Minecraft, the complementary reimagine. That is why I use them on this video. And yeah, that is pretty much how to add shaders to the snapshot 1.20 of Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed this video. If this video was useful, don't forget to leave a like and a comment and let me know what other tutorial you would like to see next. And as always, bye bye.